Hello and welcome to Moto World. I'm Larry Myers, your host for a half hour of motorcycle mania. From racing in the confines of indoor stadiums to the vast California desert, we've got a little bit of everything for you today. A little later in the show, I'll tell you how you can win a scholarship to the most recognized motorcycle mechanic school anywhere, the American Motorcycle Institute. But first, let's get away from all that cold weather. A state fair in December? No way! And that's not livestock being pushed and prodded by members of the 4-H. What it is, is the Coors Indoor Motocross Championship Series. Translation, scaled-down supercross commonly referred to as arena cross. The stars of the Coors Indoor Series are to arena cross fans every bit as popular as Rick Johnson and Jeff Ward are to supercross fans. A major difference, though, is why they do it. The money really makes it, it makes it worthwhile, but there's a lot of fun involved. I'd say, you know, I do it mostly for the fun of it. I like it. I'm, you know, I'm pretty old in this sport now, and I make a lot of money, but still, I do it for the fun of it. The fun of it lasted two days at round two of the Coors Series. In addition to the professional stars, a full slate of amateurs also had fun. And how about this guy? Now that's fun. Racing was not the only attraction. Spectators were also treated to a jumping contest. Style and distance determined the winner. Mike Jones, number 55, shared first place honors with number 47, David Hand from Manaway, Ohio. But on the track, as he earlier told Moto World's Kim Kinniger, Jones had no intention of sharing. Any predictions for this weekend here in Columbus? Uh, I come here to win. That's all I got to say. And the man of few words backed up his boast with pro wins in both the 125 and 250 classes on both nights of racing. For that outstanding weekend of arena cross competition, Mike Jones from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, is our Castrol Rider of the Week. For being named Castro Rider of the Week, Jones will receive a custom-embroidered racing jacket and a commemorative plaque from Castro.